So I thought we would um, walk through our Syngenta Maze portfolio, um, which you can find from uh, any one of the area managers in this new brochure that we've produced for this year. So first of all, let's have a look at, our, at an overview of our various products that we have in the portfolio. So we can see we've got our dual gold as our pre-em, and then we have various post-emergence options. Um, on the back of our new maze brochure, we also have a list of the products and also what weeds they control. So a nice handy little guide for you when you're out in the field. So let's have a look at pre-emergence um, and talk a little bit about where, where we're going to use a pre-emergence herbicide or not. Um, so first of all, when we think about where we're going to plant our maize, we need to think about our weed spectrum. So if we've got things like black grass, I know obviously it's particularly a problem in the, in the east, but is travelling west um, at, a, at a rate of knots. If your site is an early drilling site, perhaps, or if you know you're going to have a high weed population, you might, you know, which you might have in a continuous maize situation. So from our stable, we would suggest an application of dual gold at up to 1.4 litres a hectare and that is going to be useful against your rye grass, barnyard grass and it's an alternative mode of action for your black grass. It will also control some broadleaf weeds but by no means is it a one, one size fits all cure. If we need to broaden out our spectrum, if we know we're going to get some pelignums, um, some fat hen etc and we want to take care of those in a pre-emergent situation then we would look to add some pendimethalin, so 800 to 1,000 grams of pendimethalin a hectare should do the job quite nicely. Okay, so moving on to our post-emergence weed control. Obviously in an ideal world we want to be applying this at a 2 to 4 leaf stage, you know, nice and early for the crop when the weeds are at their smallest and the most sensitive um, so we can get good control. We want to get that crop, that crop of maize and away as quickly as possible. So the first question we need to ask ourselves for the post-emergence situation is do we need grass weed control? If the answer is yes, then we're going to look at something like Milagro. So we'll start with the base of Milagro at 0.125 to 0.175 litres a hectare and that will hopefully take care of your grass weeds. If, however, we want to open or open out or broaden the spectrum of weeds controlled, so taking in some broadleaf weeds, including your speedwells, your pelignums, your mayweeds, etc., then our recommendation would be for a litre of Calaris, plus keeping your Milagro in there at 0.125 litres a hectare to keep your grass weed control. And that is going to give you probably the broad, broader spectrum of weed control post-emergence from our stable. If we're only looking for additional easy to kill broadleaf weeds, so things like black nightshade or fat hen, then perhaps we could go with our straight mesotrion product in Callisto at 0.75 litres a hectare. Again, not forgetting that Milagro. So if we are in a situation where we're fortunate enough not to be too worried about the grass weed control, and it's just things like annual meadow grass and broadleaf weeds only then perhaps we would go with just a Calaris at a litre to a litre and a half per hectare. If, however, annual meadow grass isn't so much of an issue and it's just the broadleaf weeds we're looking to control, um, particularly perennial broadleaf weeds like docks, um, also things like charlock or volunteer or seed rape, then peak is a very useful product to control these weeds. Uh, so a dose of 0. 0.2 kilos a hectare should do us nicely. If we wanted to add some more additional broadleaf weed control and take out things like black nightshade, then we could add in 300 grams a hectare of bromoxanol uh, to our 0.02 kilos a hectare of peak, and that is going to effectively make uh, Jessa, which we used to sell a few years ago. 
if we didn't want to add that promoxenol in, but we wanted to broaden our spectrum out with our peak, then we could suggest adding in Callisto at half a litre a hectare to our 0.02 kilos a hectare of peak. Um, and that will create, give us some good control of broadleaf weeds as well.